Welcome back. The OACS Commission welcomes students of the Debara Combined School for its 2018 Christmas party. The organization adopted the school due to its remote location and the recommendations from staff to support the community. Solaj Alfred tells us more. Smiling faces of the students of the Debara Combined School signified their joy while walking into the 2018 Christmas party organized by the OECS Commission. Director of the OECS Commission, Didicus Jules, stated that the party which was held at Montfortune on the 21st December provided an opportunity for students to engage with members of the Commission to learn more about the OECS Commission whilst having fun. We have had a relationship with the Debara Combined School for the last 10 years, um, supporting the school in various ways. We felt that this was, the staff felt that this was one way of giving back to the community in which the headquarters is located. And, uh, <clears throat> but over the last 10 years, we've done various types of activities. In the last three years, we've ramped up the support given to the school. So there was last year a back to school, a backpack program to provide books and backpacks to the kids. And um, this year, for the second year running, we're doing a Christmas um, gift program for them. So they'll be coming up to the, to the commission and we'll be explaining what the commission is about, interacting with them, giving them their gifts, having fun with them. Jules went on to state that this initiative set out by the commission is not the first of its kind, explaining that actions like these go a long way in developing students holistically. Here in St. Lucia, a couple months ago, we had a reading, we recognized reading month in collaboration with the Ministry of Education here. And uh, we did a sort of round the island trip with staff of the ministry as well as the commission going to read at the schools with the kids and just get them excited about reading and storytelling. It's been very positive. The kids are excited. The teachers are happy to have that association with the commission. The day's proceedings continued with the children engaging in a question and answer segment that tested their knowledge about the OECS. They were also pleasantly greeted by the presence of Santa Claus, who came bearing gifts. Reporting for Hot 7 News, I am Solesh Alfred. A sergeant of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force has launched part two of his book on personal safety. The book provides tips to members of the public informing them of how best to protect themselves against crime. Nisha Charles reports. The man who pioneered the Cop Who Cares initiative in 2015 has now launched his second handbook. The publication is entitled Personal Safety Part 2. As Khalil Gibran said, you give but little when you give of your possessions. It was when you give of yourself that you truly give. I just want to introduce you to my new handbook, which covers tips on date rapes and date rape drugs, tips for on robberies, both at business places and delivery vans, ATM safety tips. There's also a chapter in there I call good touch versus bad touch, which basically for the kids, how to let them know what is a good touch and what is a bad touch. Um, there are other topics like safety tips for females when going out to run or to exercise, especially on early mornings. Matthew says this is just the beginning in his quest to help foster a safer society. My dream for 2019 is to develop an app for cell phones um, called Safety 758 where I'll incorporate tips from both of the handbooks in there along with other tips like traffic and other laws that persons should know about. And I am praying to God that this application could be used at schools basically on a daily basis where teachers could um, educate the kids about crime safety and crime prevention. The Personal Safety Part 2 publication is available at the Civil Service Credit Union for free. For the Hot 7 News, Nisha Charles reporting. The superintendent of the Methodist Church is asking St. Lucians to not overdo it this Christmas season. He's imploring the public to reflect on the actual meaning of Christmas. For many people, the meaning of Christmas still remains the celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ. For others, the season is about spending time with friends and loved ones. For Superintendent Minister of the Methodist Church, Seth Ampadu, he believes that the spirit of Christmas has become lost amidst the gimmicks that have come to represent the season. Christmas is a time of joy, celebration of the love, this kind of love. So 
it shouldn't be limited to Santa Claus and all all those things are just gimmicks and other things. But the real thing is we are celebrating love that God gave. So that is the time we share with others, you know, because um, during the whole year, you'll be busy working here and there. So Christmas, we create time for families so that we come together, we share love. The minister cautioned that individuals should not give into overindulgence during the festive season. Sometimes we take away the meaning of the Christmas and do a whole lot of things. So you see people drinking, doing a whole lot of things, which is contrary to the real essence of Christmas. So I've said some time ago that why is it that Christmas you have to die? Because you drink and do a whole lot of immoral activities to die. Why? Because the time that we celebrate, the time that we need to be joy, because we remember what God has done for us. And why should you die? Kill yourself. By drinking, driving, and doing a whole lot of things, breaking into people's uh, premises and the rest, and you'll be arrested and kept in a, a prison and other things. You know, so I think we are going overboard. We over celebrating it. But I think that Christmas should be every day in our lives. Ampadu went on to explain that keeping the meaning of Christmas in one's heart would ensure that every day is lived in love and light and should help in guarding against going overboard during the Christmas season and giving into gimmicks set up to lead one astray from the real reason for celebrating the festive occasion. Reporting for Hot 7 News, I am Solaj Alfred. Thank you, Solaj. You're watching the Hot 7 Nightly News. Up next, sports news with Tennyson Glasgow.